Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes Report. And uh, there's a few Frontline Changes rep uh, over the past 24 hours and we will definitely go straight into the most important one which is ADFK Front. So uh, the Battle of ADFK is currently ongoing. Let me... The Battle of ADFK is currently ongoing. Uh, this is ADFK City. is in the north of Donetsk City which is the capital of the Donetsk People's Republic or the Donetsk Oblast. Uh, so we, in, in the Battle of Adiafka, so there is frontline changes over in the northern side of the battle. And uh, in this area here, the Russian forces are threatening to cut off the reinforcement route uh, that the Ukrainians need to supply the uh, and reinforce or bring out casualties away from the front line within Adiafka. This main road is now cut off. The, this, this road here is now un unaccessible to the rest of the ADFK front. They will have to depend on some dirt road further south of this area here, uh, which will be definitely hunted down by Russian drones. So the front line, so the Russian forces have basically pushed out all the way to this uh, eastern or western road along the ADFK city, and they are also pushing, uh, pushing northward down this uh, neighborhood around this area they are now inside this industrial area and they are definitely pushing on the ukrainian forces is using this road to enter the city and they are definitely clashing in this area i just now saw some uh, footages probably around this area here i have not geolocated this area here is something to be around there which proves that the russians are there uh, but it's not inside our report tentatively so uh, this is the frontline change in the northern part and uh, this des uh, tentatively has confirmed or actually permanently confirmed that the, the ADFK front is now in the official uh, operational encirclement because uh, there's almost no way out of ADFK right now. So uh, and it's not a full encirclement yet, it's just operational. So in the south over at the Opinion region, the Russian forces has also taken advantage of this lack of reinforcement and resupply and push out from Opinion. And they are heading in this direction with uh to the southern uh, neighborhood that the russians have previously captured in this area here the russians previously was attacking out of this area uh towards the direction of opinion as well so we might actually see a uh, some sort of a uh, and uh and a uh, pincer movement between these two regions here and they will basically encircle the entire ukrainian forces currently in this stronghold in the previous air defense base so this this is the frontline change over in the southern part of adfk so uh we move on to the next frontline change is which is also one of the very important uh, battlefield is that the battle of novo mihalevka in the donetsk front so this is novo mihalevka and uh the russian forces have been attacking this area here mainly from the east towards the center of novo mihalevka and uh, based on the latest mapping from the Ukrainian side, um, the, Rus uh, the Russian forces have made progress uh, in this area here. Uh, they have acknowledged that they have lost this part and actually uh, confirmed that the Russians have made some progress of straightening, straightening the front line uh, over on the eastern part. And with this, uh, this front line change, we can now confirm that the Russian forces have captured the entire eastern part of Novo Mihailivka. And the battle will now proceed into the center of Novo Mihailivka. The Ukrainian forces currently is holding up in the western part. Uh, and the center part of the Novo Mihailivka is basically no man's land. This is gray zone. This is where the Russian and Ukrainian forces battle it out. Uh, they, they both will send forces into this area here and, as they fight. Any clustering of a huge number of men will always be uh, targeted with artillery strike or drone strike. So, you know, in, in modern warfare, you know, you're not going to see a huge cluster of men in one spot. So, which makes it very uh, uh, challenging uh, because everyone is operating on uh, small squads and uh, they will be crisscrossing each other and battling and to vie for position. So, we will continue to monitor and see how this progress over at Novo Mihailivka. And we move on to the last frontline change is over at Krinky. So uh, Krinky is over at the Kherson front, which is actually a beach head. This is Kherson city, and uh, this is the Kherson front. Uh, over at Krinky, the Ukrainians have a very small beach head over at the town or village of Krinky. And uh, there is a geolocation of Ukrainian forces planted a flag 
on 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 the what is this called a uh, water tower so this water tower is just within the forest region and the fact that they can plant a flag over there uh, means that the ukrainian forces have operated uh within crinky and moved in this direction uh, this comes after ukrainian forces uh, continued to send reinforcement into this area here despite heavy bombardment and airstrike so this frontline change is now registered over at crinky so uh so this is the frontline changes report thank you for watching do press the like button subscribe if you are not subscribed uh there will be a lot of reports all coming up so you know make sure to subscribe and uh keep track of this wall and i'll see you guys in the next update